Hello everyone, I'm so glad to welcome you to another one of my vlogs. Today I'm going to share with you some tranquil, real-life villages in the Cotswolds that are not typical tourist destinations, but places where regular people actually live. Before we begin, let me first show you the progress of my roses in my tiny garden in Somerset where I live. I grew these roses from bare roots which I planted with help from my husband in February this year. The transformation is incredible. I'm amazed how beautiful they look and smell. I think I just became a rose person for life. Those who follow my journey know that I am back to baking. I made the cinnamon bread three times in a row. I will share the recipe in the video description. It's fairly easy and simple to follow, but I do find it a little tricky to get the perfect shape. I think I did alright this time. Anyway, don't get discouraged as it tastes delicious no matter if it holds the perfect shape or not. You couldn't wish for better weather. Today is a lovely sunny day and I think nothing complements the English countryside like sunshine and flowers. It makes it feel dreamy, almost like a fairy tale. I can totally understand why so many people around the world admire the English and Cotswold countryside. It is truly special and after all those years it still takes my breath away. We are currently visiting All Saints Churchyard in Littleton Drew, a village recorded in Domesday Book in year 1086 with 16 households. The current population of this village is around 200 people. Trust me when I say this is the most perfect quintessential Cotswolds village with traditional cottages and cottage gardens. It is a dream come true for any English countryside lover. Not far from Littleton Drew, we found this charming country pub and we're going to stop for a coffee and a late breakfast.
The cold parsley is currently growing everywhere you look in the UK and when the verges of the road are getting thick with it, for me it's a sure sign that summer is well on its way. We've arrived in Alderton, another tiny village in the Cotswolds with population a little over 100 people. You are currently looking at Santa Giles Church, whose roots go back to the 11th or 12th century. Its graveyard has the most spectacular views of the countryside. From Alderton, you can walk through the fields to the nearby village of Lackington, which I'm very excited to visit as one of my favorite TV shows was filmed here. Just look at this view. Honestly, I think this view should be protected as it's one of the most quintessential English countryside views ever. I've seen a lot, but this still takes my breath away. The church and nearby Lackington Court were used to film my beloved Pride and Prejudice in 1995. The church was where Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth and of course Mr. Binley and Jane got married. Lackington Court is a private property located right next to the church and is currently for sale for a humble sum of 5 million British pounds. If anyone from my viewers buy this house, Please invite me in. Of course, I'm just joking, but it is a spectacular property that were used in the miniseries as the Bennett House. Here is me channeling my inner Elizabeth Bennet on my way to Netherfield. Really nothing makes you romanticize your life like a sunny day in the countryside. Now with summer around the corner, the coming months are the perfect opportunity to slow down a little and appreciate the beauty all around us. Thank you for watching.